Hello and welcome to the iBackup Contacts help video. Let's get started. I click on the app icon in order to start the app and I'm given two options, one to backup and the other to restore. So let's try backup. Here I really only have one option and I can click the compose email button and it composes an email of all of my contacts. Then I go to the address bar at the top at the address bar, I will type in my email address. And click send. There, my email will be sent to me. Now, if I would ever like to restore contacts from an email, say my I, my, I lose my iPhone and I don't have my contacts saved anymore, or somehow a contact gets deleted from my iPhone, I can restore contacts from email like this. Here it says, retrieve the contacts email from your mail application. So I would go to my mail application, I'd search and I'd find, I'd type in iBackup contacts and phone numbers, or just iBackup contacts you can even type in one of the people's name and phone number and the words phone numbers and it will find the email and then you select all the text in the body and just click in this box below to paste it so there it goes it just pasted all my text and now I say click this button import contacts and it imported skipped everyone because everybody's already in my inbox or in my contacts but uh, as you can see, it works. I hope you enjoy the app. Um, it really helps because you don't have to have a computer to save and back up your contacts to. Your contacts don't get saved on any third-party server other than your email servers or your Gmail or whatever. Um, you don't have to have your phone on you to recover your contacts. You can find a phone number in your contacts on any web browser just by going into your email. And... Uh, and it's permanent. I mean, Google or you know, Gmail, Yahoo, they give you so many gigs of space that you'll always have this mail. And you'll always have these phone numbers backed up. You'll never lose phone numbers again. So uh, I hope you enjoy the app. And uh, let me know of any uh, feature requests. Um, thanks a lot. Thanks for listening.